Welcome back to Kid Central Online. My name is Mr. Jeff, and whether you're watching in the morning, afternoon, the evening, whatever day of the week it is, thank you for joining us. We are excited that you are with us here at Kid Central as we have been diving into the Bible last Sunday of July before we get to August. School's coming back soon, right? But hey, we are still here in the summer, and we are learning about confidence. Now remember, confidence is learning to see yourself the way God sees you. Say that one more time. Confidence is learning to see yourself the way God sees you. God has a good plan for you. And every day, we can grow in relationship with Him. And we can live each day with confidence, knowing how much He loves us. And remember our memory verse from Philippians 1.6 actually helps us to remember that. Remember what it says? Here it is. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. That's right. God is always working on us. And just between you and me, I need a lot of work. But with his help, we can press play and take on any challenge that we face anytime in our life. And as we close out this month in July, I want us to use our voices and our bodies. Let's praise him one more time together for the month. Let's sing and worship him today. I know the reason why my feet can't stop. My heart can't help but sing. It's a wonderful feeling to feel your love for me. Love is the answer, so I sing to you. The reason is you, Jesus. You're why I'm singing out. The reason is you, Jesus. You're what it's all about. At the cross, you set me free, and I'm thankful that you love me. Whoa. Way to use those voices, way to use those bodies, showing God our love. 
a great way to express our love through worship. Now, let's sit back and let's listen to our friends on the So-and-So Show and see one more time what they have to say about our word, confidence. happened after you went to the dentist? Awesome. Uh, hi, uh, I'm, uh, uh, I'm Brandon. Forget your name there? No, I'm... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm Steven. Welcome to the So-and-So Show. <laughs> Is everything okay, Brandon? Uh, yes. <sighs> was that a question? No. I mean, yes, it was. I mean, I'm fine is what I'm saying. I just... <sighs> I made a decision earlier that will affect today's show, and now I'm not so confident that it was the right decision. Oh. 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 Okay. Uh, what decision? I invited someone to be our guest today. <laughs> So. What? What's the big deal? Yeah. We have guests all the time. Who is it? Is it someone I know? Yeah, yeah. well, it's Joel. The troll. Are you crazy? I know. I might be. Joel the troll? The internet troll? The one who also happens to be a real troll? He's mean, he's vicious, and overall, he's just nasty. I know, but I was thinking maybe he is the way he is because people have been mean, vicious, and nasty to him. So. Okay. And you want to what? Be nice to him? Well, yeah, yeah, I feel like I should try. Okay, well, but he's gonna be mean. You know that, right? I'm... What if he says mean things about you? I'll try not to take it personally. Okay, what if he makes fun of the way you dress? He's entitled to his opinion. What if he insults your cat? He better! Mm. Fluffy never has to know. <gasps> <gasps> there he is. We don't have to do this. We can run, we can hide. Just pretend we're not here, let's turn the lights off. <laughs> no, 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 it's the right thing to do, Steve. Fine. <sighs> Won't you come in? Are you kidding? Ah, you can <laughs> hit with the pleasantries. I've come here to destroy you. What? Hey, Joel. What's up? What's going on? So, Stooge, why am I here? Better make it quick. I've got to get back to making fun of people on the internet. Oh, uh, oh okay. Well, you, you, like, you like games, right? I mean, you like, when you're on the internet, you play games, don't you? Yes, I like games. Yeah. So what? No, I just thought that maybe it would be fun if, if you and I played a game huh. together. Right, right now. Then let's play. It's time to play Double Down. Here's how you play. I'm gonna put two cards on the wall. There are eight pictures on each card. The first person to buzz in and name the two pictures on each card that match wins the round. Win three rounds, win the game. We know how to play, bearded boy. So let's see the cards. I was telling them in case they Nobody want to play. Cares. Go, 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 go. Now go, just go, go, wait go. a minute. Hey, okay. Steven, Joel, Joel is right. He, he's got a, a busy day ahead and uh, I think we should get a move on. Don't you think? All right. Let's get a move on. Oh, you do have a heart. Don't look, for, don't cheat. Okay, okay. Ready? You have 10 seconds. Okay. Go! Here we go. Uh, 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 Rubik's Cube. I see. Kellen. Uh, uh, squirrel. Yes, help me out. List everything for me, please. Uh, there's a chicken. Oh, 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 oh! The cantaloupe with a face on it! 
That is correct! Uh -huh. There are two Count Lupes. <laughs> Take that, booger face. You are as disappointing as an unsalted pretzel. Hey! <laughs> you say such funny things. Fine. Round two. You have 10 seconds. Go! <gasps> Oh, what? the metal detector! Oh, yeah. Yeah. You are right! That's good. That is Leonard's metal detector, Camilla. <laughs> when I think about you later, it'll remind me to take out the trash. <gasps> yeah, well, you should take out the trash. So, you're welcome. <laughs> well, what are we doing here, buddy boy? We got any more cars to play, or are we just gonna watch your baby teeth fall out? What is that even supposed to mean? Well, uh, three. Who's finish. running this game? You have ten seconds. Go. Uh, um, no, 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 no. Oh! 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 The guy with the long beard. Ha! You're wrong. Ha! No, I'm not. Ha! Yes, you aren't. You aren't wrong. You're right. <laughs> That's Longbeard Carl, <laughs> and you win. Somebody hand me a microphone. We don't have a microphone, oh, so. I'm really gonna have some. Oh, ha -ha. I'm gonna name you Mike. Mike, drop. Ah, oh, I see what you did there. <laughs> I win, I win, I totally win. <laughs> Woo! Can't say I'm surprised though. <laughs> Going up against a clown like you. <laughs> oh. I mean, where's your big red nose? Or your, your big floppy shoes? Uh, mm. You wanna take a trip in your tiny little car with your 27 clown friends traveling across Europe? Mm? Going back to Stooge Island? Mm? Mm? Well, you might need me because you know what? You got lost, clown! <laughs> I'm out of here! Hey! Hey. You got something to say to me, B -b bozo I do. You, you are a meanie, meanie pants. And your, your hair, it, it, uh, it looks like, like blue cotton candy. And, and you know what? You, you smell. That's right. You smell like hot dog water. <gasps> oh, no. Yeah? Well, guess what? I won twice today! I won the game, and I broke you. <laughs> Booey, yeah, baby! Joel the Troll rules! Joel, 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 Joel! Bye, Joel. I couldn't do it. I couldn't be nice for five minutes. <laughs> he was making it really hard. I said some terrible things, Stephen. I'm a terrible person. No, no, don't, bite, uh, don't beat yourself up like that, okay? You definitely probably should have definitely not said the things that you did say right there, but that doesn't mean you're a terrible person. No one will ever love me again! Okay, it's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey guys, we need some help, Kellen. Yeah, I heard. And you know what, Brandon? I've had that exact feeling. You told someone they smelled like hot dog water? Um no, not that exact feeling, but I have messed up and felt like I didn't deserve to be loved. I'm surprised you're even talking to me right now. I think I have the perfect story for us. Great, then take it away, Kellen. This story comes from the Book of Romans, which was actually a letter written by the Apostle Paul to Jesus' followers in Rome. Now, Paul was writing this. Da, 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 da! Time for Bible sizing with Horvath! Horvath? Yeah! Thank you for having me on your shows. You're welcome. I am Horvath, and I am an expert in combining the mental trainings of learning the Bible with the physical trainings of making your muscles bigger. Okay, uh, let's do it. I'll read the verses, and you'll... 
Then do exercise. Let's go now. Uh, wonderful. Okay. Here's what Paul wrote. I am absolutely sure that not even death or life can separate us from God's love. Stop! First exercise! Okay, I call this the dying and alive insect. First, you bend down and shrivel up like a dying spider after it's been sprayed with raids. Before jumping up and exploding like a firecracker set off by your Uncle Gustav's. <laughs> Why are you not exercising? Oh, um... I thought... No thinkings! Exercise! My bad. Okay, we do 24 of them. Go! One. Scroodle. Accordion. Ah, 24! Ha-ha! <laughs> Carry on with the stories. Oh, yes. So, Paul wrote that nothing can separate us from God's love. Not even angels or demons. The present or the future or any powers can separate us. Hold your donkeys! Second exercise. I call this the no angels in the power field exercise. I raise my arms like an angle on the highway to heavens while separating my legs wide into almost splitters before retiring, before retiring, before retiring. Returning them to the original position. We do 93 of them. 93? Ready? Go! One. Ah! 42. Ah! Jackalope. Ah! Sister Schubert's. Ah! 93. Ah! Woo! That really works the muscles above the ankles. Your calves. No! Water break! Ah, refreshing. So, not only can we not be separated from God's love by death or life, there's also no being or supernatural power that can take his love away from us. And Paul went on, not even the highest places or the lowest or anything else in all creation can separate us. Stop! Third exercise! I call this highest building, lowest earthworm. You put your handsies over your heads and make a little point like a giant skyscrapers, and then you just fall down onto the ground and wriggle like an earthworm, baking on the hot pavement. <laughs> Let me see you do the earthworms. Um, huh? I'll pass. Okay, fine. I'll do 60. Ready? One. Uh. Uh. Uh, never mind, I'll do one. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Good idea. And if Paul hadn't been clear enough, he summed it all up with this. Nothing at all can ever separate us from God's love. That's because of what Christ Jesus, our Lord, has done. And if you're wondering what Jesus did for us, he died for us, and he removed that separation completely and permanently. You dance? Oh, yeah, that's it. Uh, uh, Final exercise! Okay, you make a little heart shape with your handsies. Before squatting downs, we do 500 of these. 500! Go! One. Two. A jillion crinkle fry. Oh. Oh. You okay? I believe my squad are just separated. <laughs> That's okay. I will finish up real quick. Well, hopefully this was clear and helpful, but it all boils down to this. No matter what's going on, no matter how we feel, and no matter what we've done, because of Jesus, nothing can separate us from God's love. You are always loved because God loves you, no matter what. Even if, say, we've called someone a meanie meanie pants and told them they smell like hot dog water? Yep, he still loves you. 
What if you did something that you weren't supposed to do and you got grounded for seven months? Hypothetically. Seven months? Yeah. Wow, that's bad. But, yeah, God would still love you. What if your muscles seized up like a slinky and you can only move like a crab? God would still love you too. Yes! I'm gonna take Horvath to the chiropractor. He's on my speed dials. Yeah, so back uh, to you. Thank you, Callan. And Horvath. They're right. I can't let messing up get me down. No, you can't. I've got to have the confidence to try again. Now you're talking. Because the truth is, God loves me no matter what. I can't argue with that. So reveal the question. What are some things that are true about God? Yeah, we know it's true that God loves us no matter what. What else is true about God? Uh, he knows everything. And he made the whole universe. Oh, he is amazing. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna try and love people the way God loves me. I need to apologize to Joel. Really? Mm -hmm. He's not gonna apologize to you. Yeah, but this isn't about what he does, it's about what I do. And I wanna do what's right. Awesome. Thank you. Maybe pick a game that you're better at next yeah, time. Good thought, yeah. <laughs> That's all for today, everybody. We'll see you next week on The, the So-and-So so -and -so Show. Boom. Boom. It doesn't been that way. Ah, yeah, oh, give myself a five. Super flexible. Ah, yeah, good job. Ah, oh, ow. What do I keep in my sleeves? My armies? No more. <laughs> Nothing can get in the way of God's love. Nothing you do will stop God from loving you. We know that for sure because of what God did for us by sending us Jesus. And this is why you can have true confidence. So our bottom line, God loves you no matter what. Say that with me. God loves you no matter what. You can be confident because you know that nothing you could ever do, nothing that ever happens in your life, none of it could ever keep you apart from God's love. Let's pray and let's thank God for that awesome, amazing, extraordinary love that he has for us. God, thank you. Uh, don't know how to put the words even in even understanding how much you love me, how much you love each and every one of us. Thank you. Thank you for that love. Help us to remember that love. Help it to give us confidence, knowing that no matter what I do, no matter what I say, no matter what happens in my life, your love is still there and you love me just the same. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. One more chance, guys. Let's do our memory verse from Philippians 1, 6, and let's do it with some gusto. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Philippians 1, 6, NIV. Got it right this time. All right. So let's see how fast you can do it on the count of three. One, two, three. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Philippians 1, 6, NIV! Oh, 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 wow. Do you see that? There's smoke coming off these fingers. That's right. That's how fast I was. Were you that fast? Were you faster than me? Raise your hand if you were faster than me. All right, all right. Are you sure about that? Okay, all right, just making sure. All right, very good. Hey, I hope you had fun with that. And it's great to remember that too, guys. And that's why we do these memory verses because when we have God's word in our heart, we can remember Philippians 1, 6 and those times that maybe we're not feeling confident. And we can remember that, hey, we can be confident knowing that God is doing a good work in us for the rest of our lives. He's got a great plan for us, guys. Trust him no matter what. 
You're not going to regret it. Have the confidence to know that he loves you and he is always with you. And that can make the difference in your life. All right. Hope to see you guys next week in person here at Kid Central at Wichita at uh, Central Community Church. If not, check us out. We'll be here the same place online with our videos. See you next week. See you in August. Peace.